Hey, it's Hunter, your craft doctor, and in this video I will show you how to make the Spirited Away No Face Charm holding some gold. To make the Spirited Away No Face Charm, you will need rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip, various dotting tools and cutters, red paint, an eye pen, black, well black and white, Palmer clay, some micro beads, gold micro beads that is. I got mine on Amazon. It came in a big pack for like three dollars. If you don't know or if you can't find a good deal typing in micro beads, type in nail art and you should be able to get a pack with glitter and micro beads. Sculpey Bacon Bond. Start with your black clay. You will need to push it down and make a oval at the top and then kind of make it flat at the bottom. See how it's circular towards the top? Then you can kind of just make a ghostly form at the bottom however you feel. Don't make it too long because it will be, I will be making mine a necklace but it also could be a charm. You can make this any size, it's pretty easy to do and just kind of make it weird at the bottom, don't make it a perfect circle, just kind of push it down in certain places, And but be sure to make the top circular and oval shape. Next, use your white clay and you'll need to make an oval for the face. Keep in mind that you are using black and white clay on the same project and you will get black on the white if you do not wash your hands after or clean up with your rubbing alcohol and q-tip. Make an oval and then you'll have to fit it to the face or to the body. Right now my oval is too big so we'll use your fingers and you can just adjust the size by pushing in on all the corners. Keep adjusting till you have the desired shape. That size will do. Don't forget to use your rubbing alcohol and Q-tip, especially to clean up the white. Next, to make the eyes, use your large dotting tool and put towards the middle of the face two cavities. Next, you will need to use your cutter to cut some more of your black clay and make two identical little balls. Then you'll take them and you'll drop them in the cavity of the eye socket and you'll flatten them to fit your piece. You can use your finger or your dotting tool. And make sure they fit. Next, with your black clay, cut two identical spheres, and you'll need to roll them to make his arms. Roll them into a log, then start at the top, and you'll be getting this cone shape. Continue until you have the right length and thickness. You'll need a bigger portion in the back, so later you can flatten the front piece. So keep rolling until you have the desired shape. This shape should do. And you'll have to do the exact same thing with the other arm and make it identical to that. Just like that. Once you have them cut down, you'll need to put them on your piece, or at least test and see how they are going to do on your piece. So you, his arms will go towards the middle of him. This is the part in the movie where he's trying to hand Jahiro her gold. 
So we're going to make it like he's given gold, and we're going to put micro beads in his hands. So you'll need to lightly flatten them to where they will hold some micro beads. And once you have them set, you'll need to use your dotting tool and smooth out around the sides. Right around in here, you'll need to smooth it out very lightly. And also, you can apply a drop of Sculpey Bacon Bond to the undersides of the arms. Use your Sculpey Bacon Bond and insert the eye pin right at the head. I put Sculpey Bacon Bond, then I use the tip of my dotting tool to insert the eye pin so I can push it down slightly. Just like that. Next, use a small amount of Sculpey Bacon Bond in the palm of the hands. This will hold the micro beads in place. start placing them on there. This may take a while because you want a great pile of microbeads in his hand. Continue to do this until you have as many as you want. Once you're done putting your microbeads in his hand, bake according to packaging instruction. Once baked, your Sculpey Bacon Bond will kind of disappear and it'll just be gold. It looks really cool because it does look like he's just holding a pile of gold. So next, after it's baked, use your red clay and your large dotting tool to put in, well, actually the size depends on how large your eyes are and how large the face is. So for this one, I will be using my large dotting tool, and you'll want to dip it in red clay and make the lines on them. So you'll need to start right above the eyeball and wrist up. And repeat down, except you'll be wristing down. Just like that. And you'll need to repeat on the next eye. And once again, you take it and you put it right above the eye, drop it down slightly, then whisk up. You will need a lot of paint, as you can see, I have a lot of paint on there to where it drips a little. And put it little below the eyeball, touch it, and whisk it down. And then, once it's dry, glaze your piece. 